Yo, what is up you guys? It's your boy Swatcoon back at it again with another video and today we are going to be going over the brand new update to NXB Ninja Voltage and we finally got the boy Jubito and older Shikamaru so without further ado let's get straight into the video. Alright you guys so same thing as always we're going to be going into the notice tab because we're going to be going over every single little thing without skipping a beat. So first of all I mean I'm a day late I get it my bad my bad my bad but this is just birthday celebration so basically just saying you're gonna get 20 shinos you know for every birthday and whatever not really nothing crazy let's get into that good shit so first and foremost we got the boy adult shikamaru and we got the boy jubito aka 10 tells jinchuriki obito uchiha into the roundup which is super super dope i've been waiting on uh 10 tells obito for a long 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 time and i know a lot of people have been waiting for shikamaru as well so we're gonna get into uh their jutsus and everything as well as how they look and how good they are as well as should you summon once we get to the summon tab let's go over everything else first really quick so in here we just got the chino by sale basically the same thing as always you spend some money you can get these cards this is pretty hard though i'm not gonna lie this is a clean ass card this is clean too basically just a bunch of like cool cards that you can get same thing here you get an exclusive uh 10 tails obito card and an exclusive uh adult shikamaru card when you buy these shinos next we got the roundup mission right here so um you'll be able to get just as always you know nothing crazy you can get their brand new tools uh ninja synthesis cards their hero gems and these are the shinobi that you're going to use in order to get the most points out of roundup so you're going to be using shikamaru uh, Ten Tails, Obito, and Conan in order to get the most points. Uh, and Kakashi and Sasuke are going to be used to get a medium amount of points. So there you go. Make sure you guys grind this, get all the tools. You can also get more secret maps, which you can use to do that mission. Please make sure you guys get those maps, do those missions, because there's amazing tools that you can get from there, as well as other stuff like Ninja Tool Materials, all that good shit. Anyways, we also got the 20 Shino Bites every five times you clear once a day, stage one. Very, very solid. It can add up to, I think it's about, oh, there you go, 100 Shino Bites altogether, which is super solid. You can also buy Shinobi Chronicles tickets from the shop. I think it's just one of them, though. Here's the tools that you can get. Uh, same as always, you know, the super difficulty, the Shura missions. You can get a title, keys, and the six star HP and attack B. So there you go. Now, what everyone has been waiting for, let's go over their kits and I'll let you know whether or not they are worth summoning for or not. So, look, first of all, I think that these are both going to be amazing defense units. So, that's just my opinion, though. A lot of people think Shikamaru's ass. I don't think he's ass. I think he's actually going to be pretty crazy in Final Four, but I'm going to show you guys why. So here's his first Jutsu right here. This is his X Ultimate. Uh, teams up with Naruto Uzumaki. This is what's crazy right here. So look, this is a new concept, which I know is a little bit confusing to people, but I'm going to try and break it down for you guys. If the user's max chakra is greater than or equal to the enemy's max chakra when damage is dealt, inflex restricted movement for a set period of time, seal and slowed movement, Increases attack, defense, and crit rate, and grants them invincibility for a period of time. So, the way I understand this, right? So, let's assume that Shikamaru has 7,000 chakra, and the opponent that's attacking your base um, has, like, less than that. So, it could have 6,000, 5,000, anything less than Shikamaru's max chakra. They're going to be hit with seal. They're going to be hit with paralysis, restricted movement, all of that, regardless of status helmet immunity or not. That's what it sounds like to me because it, it it's basically like if you have lower chakra than shikamaru you're gonna get restricted that is insane that is an insane 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 buff now look let's check this out so here's gonna be his x ultimate right here and i think that is an amazing amazing jutsu if that is the case that it goes through status summon immunity which i'm 90 percent sure that it does so status summon immunity doesn't matter if shikamaru's chakra is higher than yours if he uses his ultimate you're getting paralyzed that's broken as hell and i like this change okay first let's look at this ultimate right here i fuck with it man i like it a lot that's clean as hell it takes up the whole room and on top of that it's a long animation so it's going to be pretty hard to iframe uh through it so i like it a lot and that big old shadow, I think that's the one that catches you in restricted movement. So if you get paralyzed with it, it's wraps. It's over. Now look, man, that's going to be insane in Final Room. And he's going to be an amazing support if that's the case, which I'm like 99% sure it is going to be the case. But anyways, let's, let's check here for Jubito right here. Clean art right here as well. I think he also has a similar thing. 
Uh, releases Tailed Beast, uh, Tailed Beast spawns from huge tree causing massive damage. Inflicts enemies with seals, slowed movement, decreases attack. So this is a full room ultimate right here. So you can use it from any area on the floor and it's going to hit every single person. It also revives him once if he's defeated within a certain amount of time. My bad, I didn't go over Shikamaru's, uh full bar as well so let's check that out really quick okay so resistances of all allies on the same floor has the use to on time of all allies on the same floor okay so nothing crazy but anyways here's jubito's right here so there you go let's check this one out really quick but as i was saying um i really like that aspect of using the chakra like if you have higher chakra uh than your opponent it adds like an extra boost because let's be real okay this is clean as fuck by the way check this out pretty hard i like it i mess with it um i like it a lot because it actually gives purpose to having chakra again because no one really uses like no one adds chakra into their tools anymore no one uses chakra increasing tools anymore because it doesn't matter because everyone has hp chakra recovery and everybody's kit basically so there's no need for it but if your max chakra the max amount that you can have is what's going to give you that status then it's going to make you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like it a lot. I think it's a really good change. And it's basically making Chakra come back into being meta again. So here's Shikamaru's limit break right here. So with his limit break negates enemy stat increases. 10% against damage or attack types. And decreases how long the enemy can be invincible. Very, very solid. Uh, uses shadow tendrils and paper bombs to cause damage. Decre greatly decreases enemy's Chakra. And inflicts decrease chakra over time when users the defense shinobi same thing again here's the concept if the user's max chakra is greater or equal inflicts restricted movement for a period of time you're guaranteed to get restricted every single time if you have high chakra with shikamaru you can't tell me that that's not broken bro especially in final room if you have a damage dealing unit like sage six pass madara or like uh wondering ninja sasuke shadow sasuke boruto versus momoshiki you get paralyzed and you get one-shotted by those guys it's raps bro he's an amazing support man it increases defense and movement speed of all allies on the same floor uh resistances all that good stuff that is that's honestly broken bro that's broken i don't understand what people are saying he's ass i mean unless his ai sucks like what happened with obito rampage if it doesn't this man is going to be crazy if he can get his chakra up high but remember keep in mind this is the jutsu right here it's gonna keep on paralyzed for that long so that looks like and and it gives you speed speed buff so let's do one two three four five five full seconds of being paralyzed but keep in mind shikamaru is only gonna be really broken if you have his max chakra really really high because you want it to be higher than all of your opponents if not he's kind of like a sitting duck which I think is pretty cool. It kind of balances him balances him out. Because that doesn't give him invincibility. So if he's getting hit while he's stuck there, then that's wraps. That's it. Like, you're just going to get clapped. That's it. You can't do anything about it. Anyways, here's Obito's limit break right here. We'll go into the details right now. I really like that one. It does a lot of AoE. This is really good for crowd control. Um, if you have a lot of opponents. And it trap detects basically the whole room. So I'll do it from back here. Look at that. It basically, it track clears the whole room and it does a lot of damage and it sucks people in with that little tornado jutsu right there. So really, really good jutsu overall. I also think Obito is going to be a really good defense shinobi because one, he's an attack type. He's a red type. Um, and two, he just has really quick jutsus and you can get his attack up really high. He's going to do really good damage. But attacks multiple times, greatly decreases enemies' chakra and inflicts uh, chakra over, uh, decreased chakra over time, which is great. Uh, inflicts darkness, uh, resistances, reduces chakra um, um, damage to user, makes the user invincible. They cannot be inflicted with status ailments, reduces ninja to cooldown time, and increases length oh, of time user can't be inflicted with status effects at level 8. So let's look at his limit break right here. Plus 10% against utility decreases how long the enemy can, can be invincible by 3 seconds. But check this out i limit break three this man is crazy so 30 percent more against utility decreases how long the enemy can be invincible decreases how long the enemy can be immune to status elements and reduces the cp damage the user receives so that is insane man like he gives the invincibility and he gives the um status element decrease so he's gonna be he's gonna be nasty bro He's going to be really fucking nasty. And against units like Kaguya and all that who decrease chakra, it's going to do like absolutely nothing to him. So it's going to make that completely null and, and invalidate that attack. So very, very good. 
Um, so we got Shikamaru's other 4 star right here, he uses Shadow Tendril to launch explosive parachutes causing damage, detects traps, increases attack and crit rate of all allies on the same floor, gives them invincibility, recovers HP of all allies, um, so you know, pretty pretty good support, pretty good support Juzu, so we'll check this one out. Um, this one's kind of mid, I feel like, I feel like this one isn't really that great unfortunately. There you go. Yay that's all you get bro <laughs> i mean that's about it i mean it's not it's not terrible i mean it, it's good if you want to like stun your opponents for a quick second but i mean it's all right it's okay it could have been a little bit better but that's all right anyways here's the second four star right here uh uses shadow tendrils causing damage that ignores resistances inflicts slowed movement allies on the same floor get status some immunity inflicts darkness decreases evasion recovers chakra um large changes to huge all that good stuff negates stat increases so again pretty solid not bad most of his utility is going to be coming from his limit break and from his ultimate these ones are all just like very solid uh you know aoe jutsus i like this one too because look at look at the knockdown that you get it shoots him up into the sky that's a great knockdown man and it the trap clear is insane and it has a really huge area of attack so I don't know why people say Shikamaru's ass. I mean, he does only have one iframe, which sucks. I mean, that does suck. But in final room, he's going to have people giving him invincibility with other support. So I honestly think he's going to be goaded as a support and in final room. But let's check this last one out. Extends chakra cloaked arm causing damage. He inflicts enemies with seal and slowed movement. Decreases defense. Increases attack. Makes user invincible and recovers chakra and uh, HP. Uh, we also got large changes to huge, medium changes to large. Okay, so he's getting a large attack buff, um, and he does a lot of debuffs, large debuffs to his enemies as well. So this is going to make him a fucking nuke, bro. So let's check this one out. Now, let me tell you, bro. This animation is ass. This animation is straight cheeks. If you guys have seen SpongeBob, bro, I seen, I seen this on Reddit. It was hella funny. If you guys have seen SpongeBob where he, like, inflates Siri, his... I'm having trouble hearing you. Sorry. Oh. Could you say that again? Fucking Siri, man. She's been tripping lately. Sorry. Sorry about that, y'all. Fuck. Anyways, if you guys have seen SpongeBob where he, like, blows up his muscles, look at this, bruh. Tell me this man doesn't look like that when he blows up his muscles. Like, I mean, you know, this Jutsu does a lot of damage. It does good damage. But, bro, that animation is atrocious, bro. They did that man so dirty. They easily could have gave him, like, they couldn't have given him, like, the black arms. You know, like, from, from the true seeking orbs or something, like... This was ass. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but it's a good jutsu regardless. But anyways, let's get straight to it. Should you summon for Sage of Six Pass, Obito, and Shikamaru? In my opinion, I don't think they're meta breaking. As of right now, I don't think they're meta breaking. I think if you already have good defenders, if you already have a good final four, they're not a necessity. But if you have the extra Shinos, okay, first and foremost, if you like Shikamaru and if you like Obito, fucking go for it. I promise like you won't you won't miss out on anything if you get their full kits you will be better your defense will be better and you will have a great support in shikamaru and you will have a great main in obito i'll tell you that straight up but shikamaru i honestly think is going to be very 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 good in final four uh due to the fact that he ignores status elements and he can get paralysis for a really long time i think he's going to be insane in final four and obito i honestly think he's going to be insane uh as a defender Due to his damage and due to the fact that he decreases chakra as well. I think they're both, as of right now, just reading their kits, they look like double S tier to triple S tier defenders, in my opinion. So, are they worth it? I think if you spend your Shinos, they will be worth it. But are they a necessity, like, you know, meta breaking? I don't think so. I think you'll survive and be fine without them. But if you get them, your base will definitely be better. So, Anyways, guys, hope that helped. Um, please make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let, let me know how your guys' summons went, and let me know what y'all think about Sage of Six Pass Obito and what you think about Adult Shikamaru. If you guys got them, let me know how they're doing on your base. Let me know what you guys think about them. But anyways, this has been Swag Coon. Sorry I've been gone for a little bit. Like I said, man, round the clock school, round the clock work. I'm still trying to find time to make YouTube for y'all. But I appreciate you guys. Love, love you guys. I appreciate the support and all the feedback you guys give me. Um, good luck on your summons. I will be posting a summoning video tomorrow as well. Did I get shafted? Did I not? Guess you'll have to wait and see. So anyways, have a blessed day, you guys. Thank you for everything. And see you guys in the next one.